So hello everyone and welcome. Thank you for joining me in the video today. So after a short break, I'm happy to announce that I'm back and working on the octo contrabass clarinet. So I made a lot of progress in my last video, so I'm happy to share with you some of the work I've done to this incredible instrument. So without further ado, let's get started. So last time I believe I had about six or seven keys installed on the instrument. Well, now I'm all the way up to about 10 keys on the instrument. Um, most of those keys, in fact, are completely finished and in the final form, they're gonna be on the final instrument. So why don't I just play a scale, sort of a chromatic scale of every note that I can currently play on the instrument from lowest to highest. <laughs> So I've definitely made quite a bit of progress and I'm very close to playing a full diatonic scale one octave, which I think is really exciting. This instrument's really starting to come together and I'm very happy with the progress I've made so far. So before I go any further, I have to give a big shout out to Clark Bowes. Now, if you don't know who he is, he is a mouthpiece maker and he specializes in mouthpieces for low clarinets. I actually use one of his mouthpieces on my B flat clarinet and my bass clarinet. Well, now I have a custom Clark Phobes sub bass clarinet mouthpiece fitted to the instrument. Now, it essentially is a uh, Phobes debut contrabass clarinet mouthpiece. However, this mouthpiece has a tip opening of 2.5 millimeters, where the standard uh, Clark Phobes debut contrabass mouthpiece has a tip opening of 2.15 millimeters. So much more open. It also has a, a much more open window and it has been bored out a little bit, so it plays much better with this instrument. And uh, you can just hear it, it sounds a lot better than previously. So now I can play really loud in the pedal. Now, of course there's a few squeaks, because I think there's some leaks in the, um, the main first tubing section of the instrument. But overall, it's playing really well now. I'm very happy with how it's coming out. Um, so I talked about how previously one of my goals was to get the lowest note finished. And essentially it is. I have pretty much every key on the lower joint. The only exception to this would be the uh, F sharp, C sharp key. Uh, you can kind of see it as red piece I have here. Um, the key is there, it's just not attached to a touch piece. I was kind of using this as a touch piece, but it doesn't really work very well. Everything else is pretty much there. Um, just give you a quick look at the keys. So I've essentially finished the lower joint and I moved on to the upper joint. Now, um, this key, the uh, left hand third finger, is actually the same key from a bass clarinet, and this key is actually the low G sharp clarinet on D sharp key from a bass clarinet. So you can see that I'm still trying to reuse as many keys from other instruments as possible just to save time and save money. Um, this key, the this was actually the first key I installed on the instrument, the left hand B E key. Um, I had the, the pad cup installed, but I didn't have the lever installed. So I kind of made this complicated lever mechanism that's a little bit hard to see. But uh, essentially, when you pull down on the lever, it moves the pad cup in the opposite direction through a little linkage like I had on these keys. So it, uh, there's, some, there's some disadvantages of this. It, the, the throw is a lot, and I still haven't gotten it completely adjusted. It's not the most uh, stable mechanism, but it does work. So everything's sort of coming together. I'm very happy with the, uh, the progress so far. Um, oh, can't forget about talking about the belt. So. Um, last time, in my last video, you probably noticed that I had a, uh, a plumbing adapter for a bell. Essentially what this is, is a, um, since this is one and a half inch pipe, let's say you wanted to go to a three inch pipe, you'd use an adapter where it has like another little section that you hook onto a piece of three inch pipe. So what essentially I did was I cut that extra adapter off and I sort of contoured the, the surface of the, the inside of the adapter to make it sort of like a parabola shape or I guess it would be a uh, yeah, parabola shape, pretty much. So it uh, expands out, so it's sort of like the flare in a trumpet bell. So it's not the most acoustically ideal bell, but it was very simple, it's very lightweight, 
and to be honest, I think it looks really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it. Definitely made some progress on the instrument. Um, still working on it. Hopefully, I plan to be done within maybe a few months or so. Uh, obviously, this is just a very simple prototype. Now, whether I'll go ahead and I'll build more advanced models, I don't know yet. Um, so the problem with this is this instrument is basically using up pretty much all of my spare parts and I'm kind of fitting keys where they fit, not where they would ideally be. So I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to make like a simplified key mechanism, sort of like, um, like some contrabass recorders have keys made out of plywood and uh, some contrabass flutes have keys made out of pieces of plastic and aluminum. So it's not unrealistic to try and make keys out of simpler materials because trying to work with nickel silver and trying to making pad cups and keys from scratch is just a logistical nightmare. So hopefully I can figure out a better design to make a cheap, affordable Opto Contrabass clarinet. But until then, this prototype is coming together really well and I'm very happy with the progress I've made. So, oops. Oh, and also I have a stand for this instrument. It's actually a bass guitar stand. What I do is I just hook the bottom around the, uh, the floor peg and then rest the instrument in the, the rest right there. And it's actually pretty stable. So now I can stand it up and I have a place to store it. So that's good too. So that's pretty much my updates on this instrument. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Um, I'm gonna try to post an update video every week from now on. And of course I took a little break over Christmas, but uh, Hopefully, now that I'm done with that break, I can get back to work on this instrument. So, thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day.